out. So we're on our way down. It was 11.45, so we made it before noon, which is quite remarkable. Really pretty down there. So we're gonna do a couple switchbacks down here. It's pretty steep. And then we're gonna kind of cross over here. But we see a couple of people below us on the trail. See if they wave to us. No, they're in pain. <laughs> That's where we're gonna be, but not in pain. So we're working our way down. Can you see the little, uh, it's hard to see in the video. I can see the top of the pass, the little pile of rocks. Ooh. Got this ravine thing we had to, a couple of them we had to cross. They go all the way up there. Reminds me of Mount St. Helens. Yeah. Man, those things must have just been rushing like crazy in the springtime. I think last year I was up coming up across there and then we're gonna go up here somewhere and that's where I saw Polaris Trail. You can go ahead G. You can go ahead. So we're in another bowl here. We're gonna kind of go just below us, I don't know if you see straight across, there's a trail. And then right in the middle there, we're gonna we'll kind of loop around to the left. And that should, then we should hit the trail and go up Tenderfoot Pass, I think. We're hoping there's some water. Yeah, where do you wanna eat lunch? Where there's water. I don't know, I'm hoping there's water like down. Wait, we're gonna be up there though. Yeah. And maybe, at the pass over there, there's gonna be, maybe this water, well, worst case, we'll check, you know, a loop when it's a looping around there, cause that's a pretty big valley down there, watershed. If not, then we'll just have to have lunch anyways. And the other side, there'll be some water. Yeah, Eventually. Yeah. Got some cool looping on the trail in bloom this time. All right, it is time for the uh, daily lunch update. We um, hiked up Plars Pass. We're a mile away from Tenderfoot Pass. And we're like three miles away from Aneroid Lake. So we're not that far away. We have to go up over Tenderfoot Pass a little bit. Not much. Um, and there is an interim, intermittent stream. We're hoping that's not going to be intermittent. We'll get it on the water side of the mittent because we're kind of low on water and um, there's not for sure water until we get to the lake so we're kind of thirsty so. anyway for lunch um I'm, I'm gonna have some kind of bar it's either a snickers or a payday something like that i don't have to i'm having couscous i've eaten most of it though mm. Mm. yeah basically it's just a couscous soup, you know in the store just add water to it and let it set for like a half hour Minimum. No it's great. No seasoning. I put a little bit of salt in it and put some seeds in it. Like sunflower and um, pumpkin seeds. Yeah, it's super tasty. Yeah, I like it with no seasoning now. You can just eat it. It's really, it's super refreshing without all the extra stuff I used to put in it. Yeah. So what do you have, G? I have salmon and burritos. Mm. Um, I think I have a Snickers bar to eat. What kind of bar? Snickers bar, Ooh. and I have my sour rings. Oh boy. oh boy. So where is that uh, salmon packed in? Packed in Thailand, I think it says. Yes. Mm, there you go. Interesting. So that's what we have for lunch. Um, I'm having some electrolytes too. Oh, I know G has her liquid, liquid IV. I like to have, I have one of these, but I'm, I don't have much water though. So I, don't know, I gotta make a big decision coming up here. So super good day we just feel like we really did a good hike up the pass uh 
and the trail was outstanding, which made it really a joy to hike the thing. Um, Would have been even better if the weather wasn't so frightening. Yeah, it was kind of frightening. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I said not uh, say frightening, I said threatening. Well, okay. So it was slightly frightening. Mm, I think it was. Maybe I was just uh, doing a little interpretation there on the uh, okay. your statement. Yeah. <laughs> well, so what do we have here, G? We have a rifle shell casing. Dang. How big is that? I see that thing. Uh, I, I mean, I don't know sizes. 3006 Rem UMC. Sorry. Nice. I Clearly, this spot must be a good, a good lookout for anything walking around down there. Whew. All right. Well, we had an awesome lunch. It's about just after 1.30. We have three miles, a mile to the pass or so, something like that, and a couple down. So there's our trail. We're going to need another trail, right? minute I gone we're coming around the corner here and that is tender foot pass right. it's a big sign that you can't read anything on it but it says Polaris Pass <laughs> go that way you can't even see anything oh gosh. so I had to look on I guess I had to look on a map but I saw the trail last year. I'm like, we got to do that. I can't see anything. So that's what we're doing. All right. So on up to the pass, not very long now, but we do have to climb, climb a little bit. And we're both feeling pretty sluggish. I could drink a ton of water, but I don't want to just gush it. I don't want to, in case I really get thirsty a little bit later. All right, coming up to the top, 10 foot pass. Whew. Whoa. Nice. Woo! Yeah. Woo! Woo! That was uh, straight up at the end, wasn't it? This like, feet are in like this position. He can barely stand straight up without falling backwards. It so was, steep. It was hard. Look at this. We can't even see it all either because of the hill right there. And we'll have to go up there where the trail does. Woo! Pretty amazing, huh? Just wide open. So there's these really nasty looking, we don't know what they are, man. Get a close up here. Where's that thing? Oh, oh, they're like some kind of cockroach type thing. And they're like all over. We don't know what they are. They look like, they look like a giant cricket cockroach, brown beetle thing. Yeah, I've never seen anything like that before. And they've crossed the trail, a lot of them, since lunch. I think there's another pile of rocks we're going to. And we just hit that pile of rocks, and there's a final pile of rocks. I'm not sure where that trail goes. So we love hiking on stuff like this. 
wide open. I can spend all day hiking and stuff like this. Maybe that's the official Tenderfoot Pass right there. Or maybe there's another trail it intersects with. We're not sure really what that is. Maybe that's the... Okay. Well, this whole area is like Tenderfoot Pass. So, but that's our trail down to Android Lake right there. They're, of course, a really popular one. So, woo. So, that was Tenderfoot Pass, and it is basically all downhill now until we get to uh, to Joseph tomorrow, which we'll get some food, and then we'll just hike a, just a couple miles back on the trail. At least that's, that's the plan right now. So, it's about 2.15 right now, so we got the top of the pass just to over two, which is really nice. So we should get the camp here, I don't know, it's about a mile or so away. So by three o'clock, I would think, it could be crowded, so it might take us a while to find a, a spot to actually camp. So I don't know, we'll, we'll find out. We're gonna try and go for a swim, I'm sure. It's a beautiful lake. We have some signage. Fire's prohibited. Why don't they? Beyond this point, you know, that is, be, so what does that mean beyond this point? It means until the car? What is the point? I don't know because we've seen that everywhere and That's you right. don't see where it ends. But you know what I don't get? Why is this the like big carved in and then we got yeah. this crap we could barely wade? Yeah, Bony Lakes Trail, Lava Lake Trail. That's where we're going. And East Fork Lava Trail. Yeah. That's, Tenderfoot Pass. Yeah, Tenderfoot and... Pass. Something river. Oh, that's the Imaha River. Oh. Which is, oh, that's the river below, like, the pass. It's Tenderfoot and, uh, and, uh, what do we do? Polaris. There's, ah. yeah. Okay, there's like, is there a bug in my glass? No, it was. No, he got away. Anyways. Yeah, so we thought, one of those couple said there was water in the, in the stream here. We crossed two of them. Oh well, luckily I have a quarter of a liter for such emergencies as this. Woo, so we're getting close. We're getting close. So we're dropping into the lake area and this is the meadow. And we can't see the lake right here, but we've already seen it. It looks really nice. We are both super tired. I think mentally and physically, we are just, you know, we're kind of done right now. Having potential rain, thunder, lightning, with with all the intensity of the ups and downs and, and the just non-existent trails <laughs> makes us really thankful for that awesome trail today. And we've had really good weather. But just kind of managing that has been really tough for us. So we're looking forward to a shorter day today and a very short day tomorrow. So we made it to camp a couple hours ago. It's almost about 4.45. We're gonna get ready for dinner here. And this is Android Lake, where we see it from our campsite. It's right at the base of this. That's like a white top mountain right there. Kind of. And there's people all around us. There's a couple down there. There's some guys just over the over the edge there. And then we got our two tents. We it's about as close as we can get without actually interfering. <laughs> but what? it was really difficult to find an actual level spot here. It looks level, but everything is slightly weird and there's roots and there's um rivers where the water runs. Like right here in front of us. <laughs> so but it should be a gorgeous night though. Yeah. Hiking day three. All right, so this is day four, end of the day Gosh, recap. My hair. Oh, what do you expect? <laughs> uh, anyways, 
All right, let's do let's do our stats first of all. Where are well first we're at Android Lake. Okay, we showed just a few pictures of that. Super cool. Yeah. Bunch of people around here. Pretty cool people though. Yeah, nice. Except oh, except, except for, for the drone. The drone that was hovering above us. Hovering above us. And, and, the, and the and the couple next to us, I said, Hey, that's not that's not yours, is it? She's like, No, that's what is it? That's such a that's such a vibe kill. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, I got that right. Mm -hmm. I couldn't believe it. I think it's totally illegal to have it out here. illegal to have here. Yeah. But so, I wanted to throw up some, you know, hand signals at the drone. I was waving my hands. I wanted to throw up signals, so. Okay, moving, <clears throat> moving right along here. Okay, let's take a look at our stats here. All right, I have 31,000 steps. That's okay. I have 36. 36, that's impressive. Mm -hmm. All right, calories, I have 3,000, about 3,600. Mm. I have 3,468. Oh, sorry, I guess I got you on that. I don't know why. Good job. Yeah, thank you. Uh -huh. <laughs> anyway, so, um, yeah, yeah can say how many miles? Oh, how many miles we hiked today? I think it was 14 today. 14, which is amazing. So, uh, yeah, so the highlights. What was your highlight? I really liked the first hour in the morning uh, after we got mm -hmm. past the mayhem mm -hmm. of packing up with the sprinkling and hearing the thunder the walk down mm -hmm. from glacier lake was actually really 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 pretty that was some of the best views we've ever had the pictures some of the best pictures we ever had and there's like the river with all the rock in it and there was just like cliffs to the oh. side mm. that was probably one of the one of the, the highlights yeah. of today yeah for sure uh, oh and we saw the guys <laughs> with their tents <laughs> oh yeah the, anyway, you, so, yeah, yeah, that was funny. Yeah. Poor guys. I feel kind of bad joking about it, but then I don't because, like, it all, everybody's been there. Yeah. Right. Well, I don't know if I've ever been there. If I have a rain fly, I can put it on yeah. correctly. Yeah, I, I guess so. But I've, I've done Maybe everything. No one taught them how to, them how to do it. Yeah, that. yeah. So, uh, and the hike, the, uh, how, okay, so we, where do we start? We where started we at, like, 6,200 feet, okay. and then we dropped down to like 68 68 okay. wait did i say 82 or did i say 60 i don't know anyways 82 at the lake to 68 mm -hmm. at the base of uh, 68 down Polaris Pass. okay so we dropped but yeah all right then we started hiking up yeah so we climbed up like 2100 feet yeah in total to in the total, to, Polaris, to Pass. The Polaris Pass. all right and at that point it started the weather started coming yeah. in again, right? Yeah, it was and so, Yeah. And right when we started breakfast, right? Yeah. Now for me, that was um that was scary. Because yeah. what do you do now? Do you go up the pass that's under enlightening? I think I don't know if I could see light on the other side of that or not. Yeah, I think we started we seeing did. Right. light on it, like all the edges of the dark the, yeah which is good that means it's gonna pass through yeah and it did it and did. like it kept the sun kept going like in and out yeah. and really we were in tree cover yeah for almost all of the pass yeah and yeah then, almost all of the time it wasn't until like the last section which of course you know then it started raining again yeah and yeah, off and on rain. Not hard rain, but yeah. it was. I, I put my. I think I put my jacket yeah, on. Right. It was getting cooler. Not, the wind was blowing up there. I did there. not put my jacket on because yeah. I was still. So I was still hot. No, warm. I wasn't warm. It was like, do I, do I want to be yeah. wet from moisture or from my own sweat? I'd yeah. rather it be from moisture. Yeah. yeah. So that trail, though. It was great. I mean, there was yeah. like twenty-four switchbacks. Yeah. And that's just like that's the one side. Not not. I count one. Oh yeah. Two. Yeah. And. Yeah, there were a lot, but it made the grade yeah. of it. It so didn't, so you know, what? when we were up there, it didn't feel like we, we hiked you that just, far. You could just keep, you could keep going. Yeah. You could keep a good pace. Yeah. Um, the trail was, yeah, it was nice. It mm -hmm. was compared to the other passes that we've done. And that the, have been the like nightmare the same trails. elevation gain. Yeah. Or even like a little bit less. Yeah. They're not horrible because they're yeah. just like straight up yeah and you yeah it's too much yeah this is probably one of the best the best trail i've ever been on in a while i mean yeah. you didn't have to fight for the miles the, the, the miles just they just came it was, it, it was delightful yeah. actually it was actually <laughs> very nice yeah um, all right so we got to the top that was pretty cool yeah. we didn't stay up there long because it was the wind was blowing and um uh, there were still kind of like chilly. some clouds hovering yeah around. we wanted to get off the top i wanted huh? to get off the, which is it's a bummer because you'd like to 
Yeah. Take it in. Yeah. How high is that pass again? Is 89. 80s? 89. Ooh, that's, probably, so that's, that's the, the highest we've been, right? I think the highest we will go. Oh, actually. sweet. Yeah. So. Yeah, I was in second air there. Like Glacier, Glacier pass, pass was much more difficult for us. Yeah. yeah. That was not fun. Yeah. So, okay. Yeah. But then we made, yeah. made our meander <laughs> our way down. Yeah. And then what? Um, oh, we saw one guy coming up to the pass. Yeah. Our first person that we saw oh, yeah. the day that wasn't in a tent. We saw mm -hmm. a couple mm -hmm. tents. Mm -hmm. He was from Arizona. Yeah. But, oh, yeah. He was, he must have been cruising. But he, all of his reports were like, you know, that's really, really hard. But he was thinking that it was. <laughs> I told him, I said, really just wait. Bad. Yeah. I'm like, mm. if, you do, if you get off the main trail, that you're going to be hurting. Yeah. yeah. But then we saw a couple mm -hmm. other, a couple other guys mm -hmm. while we were hiking down. Mm -hmm. They looked like they were going to be very, very tired. Their packs were larger. Yeah, all the older and they guys. they were talking about their backs. <laughs> like, you're going to be hard. Yeah, that was hard, yeah. Oh, yeah, they were worried about their knees on the way down. Yeah. I'm going to stop again. Yeah, they were worried about their knees. Yeah, they were worried yeah. about their knees yeah. on the other side yeah. of it. Yeah. And then, well, yeah, then we realized that, oh, our next water source probably isn't until the lake. Mm -hmm. And I think we had six miles to go by then. Yeah. But we made it up like three miles before breakfast yeah. or before lunch in between mm -hmm. that and the pass. Mm -hmm. And yeah. we had, yeah. we got finished with lunch mm -hmm. at like, mm -hmm. was it like one thirty? Hi. Sorry, she really wants to come up here. Oh, oh that's no problem. We got places to walk around here. Well, oh, yeah. I think there, there might go. be like the trail continues over okay. there too. We'll but that's where that. everybody's gone to the bathroom. Oh, okay. Oop, but there we go. Everywhere, so. <laughs> I don't okay. understand. But. I don't get that. Was so irritating. I've we I've never ever seen, I've never seen a drone. That we're talking about. Oh, the drone. Oh, the drone. I thought we were you talking guys? about. Oh. All right, we're back. So one of the was Sarah. Yeah, Sarah came over with their dog, and uh, they're the there was a sweet couple that are, that are next to us. Dog doesn't actually smell. Of course, yeah. my hands are filthy. I got dog smell all over. Anyways, so we we're almost. I think we we're just about about done. All right. Yeah, Wait, lunch and then Tenderfoot Pass, which was. Yeah. There was one section of that. that the was very just, top. That was, was straight was up. basically and straight up. Was sucking air. But. Yeah. Yeah. That was a pass. I went on that last year. That's That was quite a... For me, that's a special pass. Um, but, uh, you know, I think just the weather, the miles and everything is that uh, I'm not quite like a, emotional. Plus, I got Gabrielle here that so steadies me. <laughs> and I have... You always have a backup. But still, though, it yeah. feels different. Because the weather particularly. Yeah, today was a little nerve-wracking. Yeah, so I can tell. I'm not like, I'm not in the backpack zone yet. Yeah. Maybe tomorrow I will I'll start to get there. Yeah. It wasn't like you could just like, I just kept looking up and like around at the sky yeah. to see like, ooh, are the clouds coming in? Yeah. I don't know. I th we'll have to check the weather again. But at least. Mm -hmm. Let's uh, see right now. I mean, uh before we left, when I checked the weather, today was the last day that really showed anything. Yeah, I think I think it's gonna be fine so for now. The way, it hasn't been cold at all. It's yeah. been super warm, much warmer than it was uh, last year when I was That's here. Nice. But we got the thunderstorm, so, yeah, so and just, with lightning and thunder. Yeah, so you're just kind of mentally, especially when you're, because yeah. from Polaris to Tenderfoot, it wasn't like we dropped down yeah. a whole lot, and there wasn't a whole lot of trees either, no, so you no. couldn't really like yeah. duck and cover. And yeah. then it was a painful walk down. Yeah. From there to the This is a long lake. couple of miles to the lake. My legs were <sighs> yeah. so tired yeah. from all the uphill and everything. Yeah. All right. Well, we're going to cut this off. This is a pretty long yeah. evening. It was, Thanks for... It was, there was amazing views today. <laughs> yeah. Stressful because of weather, but yeah. it was amazing views. Yeah. I'm glad we have video and, and everything because I can't it wasn't remember. Like we got, it wasn't like we got wet really either. Mm -mm. My tent we totally We were safe out, all the so. time. We were totally safe. Definitely. Yeah. Super happy about that. Yeah. All right. Well, that's the end of day, day four, right? Yeah. Day four, hiking day three. That's right. Tomorrow will be day five. But tomorrow is town day. Town day. Looking forward to that.